Hey guys, it's Rose back with another guide from the Mad God. Today, I want to talk to y'all about the exaltation system in Rome. It's set up to let players grind and progress even more once they hit 8-8, but do you know all of the secrets? Thanks as always to my patrons and my YouTube subscribers, you guys make this possible. If you aren't in either of those two groups, consider joining them. Subbing on YouTube is free, and subbing on Patreon gets you all kinds of extra benefits, but more on that at the link in the description. I'll start today's video with an intro to the Exaltation system, and then I'll go into more detail about what other benefits you can earn. Let's get started. Exaltations in Realm, as a new player, seem so far and away that you'll never reach them, but don't worry. With a bit of time of practice, you certainly will. The basics of the system are as follows. Hit 8-8 on a character, so where all your stats are yellow like this and maxed out, to start earning Exaltation progress for that class. Each completion of an Exaltation dungeon, so one of these guys listed down here, one of these eight, counts up towards your next Exaltation point. At certain numbers of completions, you'll get an extra stat point depending on which dungeon you did. I'll go ahead and list out what dungeons give what bonuses and how many times you need to clear each one. And I'm going to do these roughly in the order of difficulty, you, uh, d how difficult they are to complete. So the easiest two, in my opinion, are the Nest and Cultist Hideout. The Nest increases your dexterity, and Cultist Hideout gives you speed. The Fungal Cavern and the Crystal Cavern, I would say, are the next two easiest. They give Wisdom and Vitality. Lost Halls is next, along with the Void, and they give Defense and Mana. And then after that is O3, or Oryx Sanctuary, which gives life, and finally Shatters, which gives Attack. The milestones for the 5 bonus tap points are at 5, 15, 30, 50, and 75 total completes. Or, when you're leveling up, it'll be 5 completes, and then another 10, and then another 15, and then another 20, and then another 25 for the final point. The really nice thing about Exaltations is that once you earn them, that class has them unlocked forever on both maxed and brand new characters. So like, on new Kenseis, when I start them, I will always have plus one speed, no matter what. In addition to the primary stat boosts, there are secondary rewards and bonuses you can get from fully maxing classes and from exalting multiple different classes. Along with unlocking small rewards like pet skins after earning enough total Exaltations, like this Nexus sheep skin, um, you can earn things like extra XP and fame gain on a class, specifically 5% extra every 8 points you get, maxing out at 20% when the class is fully exalted. That's this guy right here. You also get a mastery of a class by, um, by getting at least 1 point in every single stat exalt. This gives an additional 2.5% bonus damage, stacking up to 10% max, and that will max out when you have at least 4 points in every single stat. So if I had 1 mana, 1 life, 1 wisdom, 1 attack, or 1 vitality, 1 dex, 1 speed, 1 defense, and 1 attack, I would get plus 2.5% damage. And that maxes out when I have plus 4 in each one, at plus 10% damage. In terms of multi-class exalt bonuses, by getting 1 point in every stat, for each class that uses a specific type of armor, so basically getting this bonus for every heavy class, you disengage from combat 0.2 seconds faster, and I know it's tiny, but it maxes out at 1 second, and that makes a big deal when your pet's healing for 90 HP a second, right? That's a, that's a huge difference, um, and it also helps with vitality healing. And likewise, um, when you do the same mastery bonuses for 1 point, in every stat, for each class that uses a specific type of weapon, for Kensei it's katanas, so ninja, samurai, kensei, um, you get a 5% increase in drop rates, and that maxes out at 25% when all classes that use weapon are fully exalted. And I don't know about you, but a 25% increase in drop rates is really, really nice. Easy to get? No, not at all. That requires maxing multiple classes, fully exalting multiple classes. But, plus 25% loot is pretty crazy. Along with real bonuses that will improve your gameplay experience from exalting, uh, when you fully exalt a class, the statue in your vault will permanently turn golden. So like this little statue right here, when you fully exalt the class, turns golden, which is kind of cool. And you also unlock the exalted class skin, which can, full can only be unlocked this way, and I will go ahead and show on screen what that skin looks like for the Kensei, just as an example. Um, all in all, Exaltations are a fun way 
to extend how long you stay interested in Realm and provide a meaningful thing for you to grind for once you hit 8-8. Will you become a legend and acquire the Exalted Oryx pet skin? As always, thank you for watching the whole video. Consider subscribing if you're new, and until next time, keep beefy boys. Hello there. Oh, no.